one part of life that nobody is really talking about is that we are all losers. Of course deep down most people are aware that people compete and that there can't be winners without losers, but it goes far deeper than this in my opinion. It's literally impossible for the largest part of the population to be happy. Everything that we want to be is always relative. We don't want to be attractive, we want to be more attractive than others. We don't want to be wealthy, we want to be more wealthy than others. Otherwise we would just be happy with what we have, since it's much more than most people 200 years ago could even have imagined. That's why I hate it when guys talk about solutions. Because there is always this underlying narrative that everyone could be happy if we only changed society. You know what the real solution would be? You guys getting all fat and I get all the women. That's an oversimplification since I don't care if a guy in Florida has a girlfriend or not, but within your class it's exactly that. Not everyone can get Stacy. Not everyone can be good at school. Not everyone can be popular. Even if we all had the endless food and a house to live in, we wouldn't be happy, because we always want more. Of course we always cope by formulating things positive, but our intentions are different. I would like to be 6 feet 5 inches but I also wouldn't mind staying my height and shrinking every other guy to 5 feet 9 inches. Realizing that you are not the guy mogging is the black pill. People complain about the rich. The rich care about you as much you care about Africa. Why would it be different? It might sound harsh when people say they only care about themselves. Of course it would be a much better life if we could all be happy at the same time, but this delusion leads to even more harm. Weak Waffles likes to show women making outrageous statements about men at the beginning of his videos. His viewers are shocked. How dare her saying such things about height? Why are these guys shocked? That women did exactly what you would expect her to do in this situation. She is a female with a female brain wanting to select the in her opinion best option from the hundreds of guys hitting on her. If you accept reality for what it is, this is either brutal not surprising. Before the internet it was way easier to scam people. You could go to a garage sale and buy valuable items for little money because many of the owners didn't realize how much demand there was. Today this doesn't happen anymore. eBay allowed to enter an open marketplace with full transparency. It's the same with dating. The underlying system has always been the same but with modern technology it has become impossible to find an overlooked Becky who doesn't know her worth. Dating is a competition like online gaming. You don't start a match in Call of Duty hoping that everyone will win. Your win is based on the loss of others.